What's up, folks? We have a, a product to review real quick. This is the Icotech uh, Gen 2, the model's GC300. This is a Predator call we just recently purchased. It just came in the mail today. We'll do a quick unboxing and a short little first impressions review kind of thing. And then we're going to take it out and use it a little bit. Not today, but uh, in the coming days, we'll have part two of this review video, kind of giving you our thoughts on it as to how it works and what our opinions are on it. You can pick this up on Amazon. I think I paid $89 for it. Uh, from all the reviews that I've watched previously, this one got a lot of uh, positive buzz about being one of the better inexpensive Predator calls. So let's get it busted open and let's see what's all inside. All right, so we got our tape busted off here. I'm going to read to you just what it says on the front here. It says Evolutionary Gen 2 GC300 Electronic Predator Call. 300 yard remote range, 12 highly effective audio calls. Play pause, two calls at the same time. Backlit buttons for night hunts. New decoy compatible remote. Mount unit on a tripod and superior battery life. And it does use four AA batteries uh, to run the unit. We're gonna bust it open here. Got a nice little picture here uh, with a dead yoke with a rifle in the background. Here's our handheld remote and the actual call unit. Pretty small, it's not very big. Um, I was expecting it to be a little bigger. So, here on the back, it does have a Two jacks, one for the decoy, and then one for an external speaker if you want to like add a, a speaker to get a little more volume. Got our little instruction booklet. I'm telling us how it operates. And it comes with a little lanyard. Uh, it looks like it's just some kind of cheap rope material. It's not very high quality on the lanyard. I'll probably make myself like a, a P-cord lanyard, something that'll hold up a little better and I can get it the length that I want it. But it is nice that it does come with one so you don't just have to carry the remote around. And the remote, it's a, a good size, fits in your hand pretty good. It's got a decoy button up top. And then we've got, I'll try to get it close where you can see, um, coyote female, coyote yip, coyote male. Coyote Pup, Bobcat Adult, uh, Cottontail Distress, Fawn Distress, Gray Fox Distress, Jackrabbit Distress, Crow Distress, Coon Distress, and Woodpecker Distress. I got our volume buttons here, got a pause button and a stop button. So that's that. Um, do have an on off switch here on the side. I believe that's one of the things that they added uh, to the, the second generation. Got an extendable antenna. And the one cool thing that I really liked about this was the 300 yard remote range. And I don't think it has to be line of sight. Um, not that I would set my unit up 300 yards away from me, but it's nice that it does have that range. And then it's obviously got a little, a place to, to keep the remote here on the side of the unit. All right. So on our unit, we've got the antenna. And then, like I said before, we've got the external speaker jack and the decoy jack. And then on this side, I'm assuming this is going to be our battery compartment. Yep. All right. We're going to use Energizers, Energizer Max. Uh, I highly recommend using good batteries. Don't use the Costco, Sam's, Dollar General specials. I recommend using good batteries. I've had some problems in the past. Um, well, specifically on trail cameras in using cheap batteries, you don't get the same performance. So I recommend getting decent name brand batteries. And it does take four double A's. And then on this side, we got our on-off button. 
and it is threaded on the bottom for a tripod if you want to set it up on that i think that is going to be a good option um especially on uneven ground these legs aren't extendable or anything and that yeah i could see if you get on some pretty steep ground it may fall over um the little gorilla arm small tripods that are six seven inches long i think i've got one laying around i'll probably uh, screw in here that way it gives us a little more option as far as mounting all right turn our handheld unit on start with coyote female and i'm not sure if this has to have batteries not sure i know on the gen one there was a little tab you had to pull out but i'm not seeing not getting any light come on or anything I'm going to find a screwdriver real quick. I'll be right back and we'll pop this back off and see if it takes any batteries. All right. So it just so happens that we had one upstairs. Thank goodness. We'll pop this little bad boy in. And it does say uh, on the instructions that if you have a new remote... Like if you buy a replacement remote or it's the first time pairing, you may have to take like a paper clip or a little piece of wire or something. And there's a hole in the back of the handheld unit. Okay. So there it's backlit now. So we're in business. All right. So we'll try the Coyote female. Not sure what volume it's on, but I'll turn it down some. Cody, yep. You're still your female. Cody, male. All right, so I forgot it plays two at one time. So if you match two, it's going to play both. It was continuing playing the yips. So we'll try the male. You have to mash stop in between if you want that done. We'll stop at Cody Pup. Bobcat Adult. Cottontail Distress. And the volume is pretty good on it. Phone distress. Gray fox distress. Jackrabbit distress. Crow distress. Coon Distress. And Woodpecker Distress. Alright, so that's the 12 sounds that it comes with. And again, this does not have the option to add any sounds to upload any to it. Uh, but at this price point, I'm happy. I mean, it gives you at least it's 12 good sounds. Um, again, that's Coyote Female, Coyote Yip, Coyote Male, Coyote Pup, Bobcat Adult, Cottontail Distress, Phone Distress, Gray Fox Distress, Jackrabbit Distress, Crow Distress, Coon Distress, and Woodpecker Distress. So that's going to conclude part one of our video. Um, we will now, probably going to take it out in the next day or two. I'll go ahead and get this one uploaded. Um, but that is the Gen 2 Icotec uh, GC300. I dropped it. Uh, GC300. It says the Reaper. Ideal for calling coyotes, bobcats, fox, wolf, raccoon, and crows. Again, the packaging's super nice. They did a good job branding it. Um, this side says dead serious benefits. Designed for maximum results. 
easy to operate controls, tripod mount, long range sound, rugged yet compact and portable, affordable night calling option, decoy activate, deactivate, tremendous battery life, best free sound library, and long range remote. And then on the back, it kind of goes over the buttons that are included. Um, and again, the, the features that I listed earlier. It does have a warranty. Um, it says your IcoTech product is warranted to be warranted to be free of material defects and workmanship for one year after the date of purchase. So we will have to take and register our product. So that's it. And again, that's eighty nine ninety nine on Amazon.com. Um, I don't want to bore you with me talking, so we might do some outside tests, uh, maybe tomorrow or the next day, and then we're going to try to get it in the field on Saturday. Thanks for watching.